The sensing element found in resistance temperature detectors, or RTDs, are made up of a ceramic or glass core wrapped in either fine metal wire or thin metal film. And the metal that gives an RTD element the highest levels of accuracy, linearity, and stability is without a doubt platinum. Hence, PT100 and PT1000 RTD sensors take their names from the elemental symbol for platinum, PT, followed by their resistance value at 0 degrees Celsius. So a PT100 has a resistance value of 100 ohms at 0 degrees Celsius, and a PT1000 has a resistance of, you guessed it, 1000 ohms at 0 degrees Celsius. Although PT100s and PT1000s can have similar tolerance ranges and similar temperature coefficients depending on the purity of the platinum used in the sensor element, making them virtually interchangeable for some applications depending on the instrument being used. There are some applications where a PT100 or PT1000's resistance value and lead wire configuration play a significant part in their accuracy. So let's compare the two. First, we'll look at PT100s. Because resistance across the sensing element is much lower on a PT100 versus a PT1000, unwanted resistance from lead wires and connectors will have a larger distorting effect on overall resistance measurements, since it will make up a larger percentage of the circuit's total resistance. Hence, PT100 sensors are better suited to 3- and 4-wire circuit configurations. That's because in 3- and 4-wire RTDs, the extra lead wires act to measure and compensate for the unwanted resistance that's inherent in the circuit's wiring and connectors. Also, PT100s are available in both thin film and wire-wound element constructions, and they're compatible with a broader range of products and instrumentation because of their widespread use across many industries. Now, let's consider PT1000s. PT1000 sensors are suitable for use in applications with two wire circuit configurations. Since the PT1000 sensor has much greater resistance, the distorting effect of the resistance in the lead wires is less significant overall because it takes up a smaller percentage of the total resistance in the circuit. And because a higher resistance value can be measured with less current, PT1000s can be employed in configurations that consume less power than PT100s. And when power consumption is lower, so is the amount of heat generated by the circuit, making PT1000s less prone to errors resulting from self-heating. Also, when comparing PT100 RTDs versus PT1000s, keep in mind that PT1000s are typically available only with thin film element construction. Still have questions? We've got answers. Contact one of our engineering experts at Omega.com. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe.